Radio astronomy is definitely undergoing its uh, kind of a, a second birth. It's the same objects, but different physical processes that we can, we can, we can detect with radio. I'm Anna Kapinska. I am an uh, assistant scientist and astronomer at uh, NRIO in Socorro. Uh, I work at the VLA User Support Group where I uh, help our um, community, astronomer um, community, to use the VLA. And I also work, uh, of course, with the VLA itself. How did I get interested in astronomy? Uh, I have to blame my father for that, <laughs> who always was very, uh, very keen on um, keeping us, uh, myself and my brother, interested in, uh, in maths and, and astronomy. And it just, um, just kind of sparked the right, uh, the right spark. And it just was a natural thing for me to continue and do science. I did my undergrad uh, in Poland and I actually did it in astronomy. After that, I went to Netherlands, to the University of Amsterdam, and I did masters in astronomy and astrophysics. I did my PhD in the UK, in the University of Southampton, on cosmological evolution of supermassive black holes in the center of galaxies. And uh, my first postdoc was also a at the University of Portsmouth. But after that, I went to um, ICRA um, at the University of Western Australia to work on the, um, the local radio telescopes over there. And that was my last stop before I arrived at NRIO last year. I've done a lot of radio astronomy and I started off uh, working on the um, X-ray binary systems in radio waves. Um, so basically it will be the stellar black holes with the uh, on neutron stars, but predominantly black holes and they are jets. Normally you do some optical astronomy as the, as the standard uh, to, to, to get uh, introduced into how to do research. But um, once I started doing research projects, my own research projects, uh, they were all radio astronomy. The whole radio astronomy is changing right now. We have so many new telescopes coming up. But NRIO is, um, I think it's a very fascinating place. Very rich in, uh, in, the, in, the, in the knowledge and the experience. I do use uh, VLA to observe jets. You have the, the, uh, the particles uh, being ejected close to the vicinity of the black hole and then as they are uh, with their really massive angular momentum they start spiraling in magnetic fields away from the black hole. They radiate at the, at the energies exactly what you can see at the, at the radio waves and so when, you, when, you, when we use the uh, VLA to look at those jets, jets exa that's exactly what you see. You see those, those electrons and um, and depending on which frequency you're looking at, it will be higher or lower. So you may see uh, kind of younger, fresher uh, elections being expelled or, or the older ones that have been hanging out there for a bit longer. You can use that information and that uh, observations and images that you get from the, the radio observations um, to understand how the jets propagate and how they interact with the ambient medium. Here, uh, within NRIO, we're definitely um, going to continue with the uh, NG VLA, which, which is a next generation VLA. This is something that is going to come in the next, um, what is it today, 20, 2019, um, 15 years, hopefully, 10, 15 years. I hope to observe something <laughs> in my 2030s. The thing is that back in Poland, we really haven't had I didn't see a problem with that. Then I got involved in uh, outreach, but it's more sort of outreach for, for kids, uh, for, for pupils and 10, 12 years old. And I found that extremely um, valuable and interesting. And we would target as well young girls to, to show them that, yes, you can be the astronomer. And I do notice that especially smaller uh, sm younger kids would come and, and be surprised and amazed that, well, you can be a female and astronomer. I am a, a science team member of one of the online international citizen science projects. It's Radio Galaxy Zoo, but it's a spin-off from a hugely successful previous project on a Galaxy Zoo. I find it extremely interesting and valuable thing to do. Some of our users for that particular project just um, enjoy uh, looking at the objects and, and, uh, and, and help us doing science. Others are really, really interested. We have a, a number of, of um, users that ended up writing papers with us. And I did actually publish a paper a year and a half ago when the second author was one of our uh, citizen scientists, just because he's done so much work on the, on the project that we decided that he, he did. Um, he definitely deserves to be co-author on a paper. 
paper. There are plans of using the new surveys that are coming up in the next uh, next year's radio surveys um, to, to take it to take it further because it's very very successful, and, and our users seem to really love it. Hi everybody, I'm Matthew. And I'm Victoria. Thank you so much for watching our final Women of Discovery video. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss our live session next week where we'll talk about the making of the video. You can ask questions below in the comments or you can join us live and ask questions during the chat. Thanks for joining us.